Welcome to another episode of Grizzly True Crime. My name is Gizzle Kay, and today we're going to be looking at that $20,000 that Brian Laundrie supposedly has in his account. Let's get started. so much for tuning in today if you are new here then hi and welcome to the grizzly community i hope you will consider subscribing sometime during this video so that you can become part of us for all those of you who are back here for another video of mine welcome back it's so nice to see you so hmm you know the twenty thousand dollars hmm have you seen those articles i've just seen it in a few articles it's not confirmed in my mind that it's absolutely twenty thousand dollars that the laundries are filing to get into their name. Remember, it was called a this whole summary administration. We went through it all. There's two videos I think I made on it. Petition for summary administration, $1,000 or more. It showed that uh, Roberta and Christopher Laundry were filing for something that belonged to their son that was between the value of $1,000 and $75,000. And of course, Stephen Bertolino came out and said, yeah, it's around $20,000 and it's got something to do with these Bank of America accounts, and now people are really confused. Like, okay, Twi sorry, what twenty thousand dollars? Bank of America? Could you then explain, please, why Brian Laundry left Gabby in the woods, stole? I would say at that point, stole her van, drove it home, and then used her card to the point where that's all they had to arrest him on. At the time, I mean, they still haven't confirmed, sadly, who actually murdered Gabby Petito. And I think that's terrible. They need to release that information. My word. So if we think about it, why was he using Gabby Petito's card? Why was he doing that? Uh, committing fraud? You know, remember withdrawing things and buying things up to the value of $1,000? Hmm. That makes no sense if he had $20,000 in his account. Then... I've watched a couple of videos of people speculating. Oh, by the way, this is my little speculation jacket, and these are my speculation glasses. Hmm? So we're going to speculate a little bit, because I know that we're all trying to make sense of it, as have I been. It's been milling around in the back of my mind <laughs> for quite some time, because the whole time I'm like, okay, I just try and think. I put myself in his shoes, and I'm like, okay, so... You got scared after speculatively committing murder. You decided the best plan is like, go home to mom. Okay. So you get in the van, make sure to update your Spotify playlist, you know, so you have something to listen to on the way home. Update it again the next day too. So, and listen to love songs because that's appropriate at this point. Stop at Casey's for pizza. Okay. Then you use Gabby's card and her pin to buy stuff up to the value of a thousand dollars now for a while i was wondering if that was the camper do you think that was the camper i don't know now this thing of bertolino this this number flying around at twenty thousand dollars it kind of pinged something in my mind do you guys remember this one little reward hmm <laughs> and this is where i'm going to speculate so let me first tell you hold on one moment it'll be worth the wait i think Maybe I'll just be like, this is total BS. Like, what is going on here? I've seen people speculate that maybe... Wow, I've actually seen quite a lot of speculations. Some people have said, what if they're trying to get part ownership of the van? Mm, I don't think they would do that. Um, what if... This was a good one. What if the $20,000 was something that they put into his account to help him be on the run and survive? Well, that will get them in a whole heap of trouble. And it's kind of weird now that they would apply to get it back. Or... And here comes my theory. I don't have a speculation intro yet. I'm busy working on that. But here comes my theory. Are you ready for it? I know you're like, come on, just get on. With it. Just get on with it. Mm. Oh, I remember this one, you know, involuntary storage of information in my brain. And I'm like, $20,000. Mm. Remember this one. I'll move myself to the side so you could see it real nice. Uh, Northport Law Firm offers 20k, $20,000 reward for information on Brian Laundrie's whereabouts. 
Okay. A Northport law firm says it's offering a reward for information on the whereabouts of Brian Laundry, who's a person of interest in the death of his fiancée, Gabby Petito. The Boo Hoff law firm is offering a $20,000 reward to the first person to supply information leading directly to the exact whereabouts of Laundry. A reward will be paid once the investigating law enforcement agency supplies Buhoff Law written verification. I said that funny. Buhoff Law written verification that a tip helped lead to locating Brian Laundry. The firm said in a press release, adding that the reward, that the reward cannot be split. Laundry is the sole person of interest in Petito's death, which has been ruled a homicide. On Thursday afternoon, the FBI announced that the U.S. District Court of Wyoming had issued a federal arrest warrant for Laundry. The announcement said the warrant was issued pursuant to a federal grand jury indictment related to Laundry's activities following Petito's death, saying he fraudulently used a credit card. While this warrant allows law enforcement to arrest Mr. Laundry, the FBI and our partners across the country continue to investigate the facts and circumstances of Ms. Petito's homicide, said Special Agent in Charge Michael Schneider in a statement. We urge individuals with knowledge of Mr. Laundry's role in this matter or his current whereabouts to contact the FBI. Okay, so we know about that. We know about this. Did they say anything more about the 20,000? Hold on. No, this was when they're still just looking for him. Now, those rewards, remember, the rewards went up to, what, was it like 150k at a time at one point? But this particular $20,000 one I'm interested in because I'm like, oh, my word. Well, they did lead the FBI and law enforcement to his exact whereabouts. Are they going to get reward money? Like, that would be so hectic. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to know if you think that this is possible. I'm speculating, remember? Hmm? Don't come for me. I'm speculating today because it really makes me think. I mean, I've heard a lot wilder speculations. To me, this one seems a lot more accurate. Now, have you also seen this update? Findagrave.com. It's a site I know well. I refer to it a lot when I was writing my true crime books. Now, if you go to findagrave.com, typing a lot, typing. <laughs> Um, hold on, findagrave.com. By the way, the Sarasota um, clerk site where I saw that case information is now down. Let me know if it's down on your side. It might just be my internet or something. I don't think so, but I've been trying all day to get to it, to type in the case number thingy and get more information on what they've been doing because there's been quite a lot of updates in the last few days on what the laundries are filing for. Then there's a court date, then it's canceled, then a court hearing and it's canceled. And I'm like, hmm. So if we type in here, Gabby Petito, I'm going to show you now in a moment. One second. It's taking a sweet time. Oh my word. Hold on. Hurry up. Bear with me. Okay, let me just tell you why I'm looking. On Brian Laundry's Find a Grave, a few days ago, it said his death date was the 8th of September. <laughs> Which is, again, interesting, because it could be possible. I don't know where they got that from. They might just be... Anyone can add it, as far as I know. But it is interesting that the date said 8th of September, because that wasn't that. I think that when Doug from Northport, Florida, heard gunshots in the area, wasn't that the 9th of September? Wasn't it? But imagine if he actually died on the 8th of September, before Gabby was even officially reported missing. They went camping on the 6th and 7th. Two of them checked out on the 7th. And then his date of death is listed as the 8th. That, if that would be true, if there's one possibility for that to be true, I would say that it's got to do with him going camping, then to Cassie's house, and then walking out to that uh, Mayakahachi Creek. Environmental Park. My word, it doesn't want to find Gabby Petito right now, so just hold on. I just wanted to show you in comparison. So let's go here to Brian. Laundry. I love how everyone's like onto it. Like, <gasps> Brian Laundry on Find a Grave. So if we look here, 
uh, Brian Christopher Laundry, born on the 18th of November 1997. Do you know how long that took for us to find that? Remember that when we were trying to like deduce from his usernames and from all sorts of things exactly when his birthday was. Um, now it says September 2021. They've changed it. But a few days ago it said the 8th of September 2021. So that was very interesting. Burial, they say, cremated. Specifically, remains found at the Mayakachi Creek environment. Hey, I'm out of practice. Let's try that again. Remains found at the Mayakahachi Creek Environmental Park in Florida. Laundry's remains will be cremated and his ashes will be returned to his family. Ashes and a reward, maybe? Hmm. Speculating. Died at the Mayakahachi Creek Environmental Park in North Port, Florida. They've got quite a lot of photos up here for him. Ah, memory lane, isn't it, for us? Oh, my word. So they put a bunch of photos up. By Raven, by Andrew, by Joe. Which Joe is that? Hmm. I'm just checking. Just the graver. Malita. I always like to see who edited the photos. That would be quite interesting. So who are you? <laughs> Joe has been a member for 10 years. Interesting, interesting. I'm just looking who they're following. Malita. One year and five months. And this one, Lauren. Okay. But anyway, let me know if you've heard of this as well, because 8th of September, very interesting. Um, so if I also, man, really wish I could find Gabby Petito. G, no, wait, there, let's do this. Why would Gabby not be on Find a Grave? You know what I mean? Ah, she is. Okay, okay. See, they don't want to put this date. That, well, I know they don't know the exact date. Gabrielle Venora Gabby Petito. Death, August 2021. Teton County, Wyoming. Burial cremated. Ashes scattered. Specifically scattered at Jenny Lake. See, I don't know that. I do not know that. I just found it out now. I've seen the Brian Laundry one. Didn't look into Gabby's yet. So ashes were scattered at Jenny Lake. At Jenny Lake. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. And there's a lot of photos added here. Hmm. Isn't this one so nice? Wow. Okay. Interesting. So born on the 19th of March, 1999. August 2021. Ashes scattered at Jenny Lake. Did you know that? Let me know if you knew that or if you just found out now. Anyway, so there's that. And I want to do one more thing before I go. I want to... I'm just looking if there's any news on Stephen Berlino. No. Okay, I want to just do one more thing. Um, just to see... October 9th. Ah, I remember the 9th, but they say October 9th. August, September, October 9th gunshot to it. Disregard. Okay. I thought it was going to be like September 9th, but on sub <laughs> how odd would it be if whoever put, whoever added to the information for Brian Laundry on Find a Grave actually for a second slipped up and told us oh, he died on the 8th of September. Like what? That would make a little bit more sense to me, don't you think? Even though they say, oh, left on foot and like he left with a gun. Maybe he left even sooner than what we think. Interesting. Which takes us all the way back to the original theories we had of when he left with a Mustang. When neighbors saw him walking with his mom and dad, having a cycle, mowing the lawn and then gone. Hmm. Do you remember that? In the beginning of this case, we were speculating that they actually went camping in the first weekend of September. And then it was moved to the next weekend. Well, damn. Imagine if he actually died right after that. Like, on the 8th. Because right now, that's a theory. It's out there. Anyway. Um, okay. So, 
I think that's it for now on this case. If there's any other news that I've missed out, please let me know. I would love to know what you think. Please share your thoughts below. Specifically, uh, to remind you, what do I want to know? What do you think of my speculation of the laundries actually, <laughs> that the $20,000 is actually for the reward money? Hmm? Whoa, that would be really a legal system and not a justice system, huh? So that's my first question. And secondly, did you know that Gabby's ashes were scattered at Jenny Lake? Because I didn't know that. I know that her parents went there to bring her home and all of that. But I didn't know about his, her ashes being scattered there. Okay, so uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I know that true crime is quite a topic, huh? So if you ever do hit the thumbs up, which I would appreciate if you did, Remember that you're hitting the thumbs up because you like the way that I present true crime. That's it. It's not because you like, yeah, to murder or true crime or anything like that. It's just because you like the way that I present it. So I will see you in the next one.